Please forgive us. Megan out of wits as plot to blackmail Charles with Archie and Lilibet in tatters. Compassion is not in Meghan Markle's genetic makeup. She couldn't care less about the damage she's inflicting as the self-appointed Queen of Montecito. In a new interview with The Cut, former royal and self-titled feminist takes more potshots at her British in-laws and the media of her husband's home country in a tiresome attempt to avenge her preferred place at the top of the pecking order. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are throwing a tantrum over being told they cannot use their Sussex royal brand name after they've officially left the royal family. Harry has wanted to get out of the royal family for a long time as he's always felt trapped in the firm's bubble of rules and protocol. What makes this hard to swallow is we have a hard time believing the former party prince would be upset over something as minor as being stripped of a brand name. However, Meghan is allegedly famous for throwing a tantrum when things aren't going the way she wants. This shows how much of a perfectionist she is. We have every confidence that Meghan is the one throwing the tantrum because all she wants is to have privileges without the work. Queen Elizabeth II's passing has set off a lot of big changes within the royal family, especially when it comes to titles and the royal line of succession. So what does that mean for Prince Harry, King Charles's second child, and his wife Meghan Markle? The couple became the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when they tied the knot in 2018, and when they stepped back as senior working members of the royal family, they lost the honour of being called his and her royal highness, but remain the Duke and Duchess. We've lost a lot of respect for them, as they need to realise that yes, the media is going to print horrible things that obviously aren't true. Meghan generally believed that being married to a prince was going to be simple, and that it would be no different to Hollywood. If we had to narrow down talking points about the issues Harry and Meghan are facing, we would have to say yes, they're taking it a step too far. With Charles's ascension, it's unlikely Harry and Meghan's titles will change, but it's possible that their kids could be upgraded to Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. That marks a big change considering Archie and Lilibet weren't born with royal titles to begin with. If the Prince and Princess title do become available to Archie and Lilibet, it could ultimately be Harry and Meghan's decision to use them. Considering they have distanced themselves from royal duties and moved to California, it's possible they'd turn it down. Other royals have also opted out of giving their children prince and princess titles when they became eligible, such as Princess Anne and Prince Edward when it came to their own kids. Harry and Meghan's titles have not changed, and although the Duke has moved up from 6th to 5th in line to the throne, he's still too far down the line of succession to ever be expected to be king. The Sussex's children, Arch and Lily are now, as the grandchildren of a monarch, a prince and a princess. But it's not known whether they will use these titles, which they were not entitled to when they were born. Harry travelled to Balmoral to join his father, brother and family at the Queen's bedside, but Meghan remained down south. She missed Philip's funeral in 2021 while heavily pregnant with daughter Lily. An absentee duchess would be seen as a snub and disrespectful, but a public appearance with Harry alongside the rest of the royal family could prove immensely difficult. Harry could seize the chance to reunite with his family amid their shared grief and heartache for the loss of the Queen. As the new head of the Windsors, Charles could, if he sees fit, offer to welcome Harry and Meghan back as part-time working royals. Although, this could conflict with their Netflix and Spotify commercial deals and new life away from the monarchy. The aftermath of the Queen's death could be a time to build bridges, but it remains to be seen whether those have long since been burned.